All right, one of the coolest things about what I've built in this community and this YouTube channel and all of these various different things that I have going on is that when you have a question, you know that you can either come to my YouTube channel or my Discord or DM me directly and I can get you the answers in some way, shape or form. So that must mean that I know everything that there is to know, right? Nope, not true. There are things that I learn on a daily basis that I don't ever tell anybody about, or when I do, I pretend like, oh yeah, I knew that the whole time. Except for this one little thing. In fact, I've mentioned this a couple of times on live streams and various videos, and definitely within Discord conversations. I've been asking the community how to do this one tiny little detail. I've even reached out to developers to ask them to create the plugin to do what I need done. Until I came across this one developer that said, duh, that functionality is already built into a plugin that you already use and it's been staring you right in the face the whole time. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I'm teaching you everything that you need to know about owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do plugin reviews and tutorials. Plus I wanna give you all of the tips and tools that are gonna make your Rust server ownership so much easier. If you're brand new to my channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on and to get the latest updates on the Rust development world. I'll remind you a couple of times throughout the video to hit that like button if you're enjoying what you're watching. So please remember to do so. All right, let's get on to today's video. So just to briefly explain what it was that I was trying to do on my live server, like where I actually have real players playing, I have an arena on there that I need to automatically respawn every time the server wipes. And I also run the hotel system on that server as well. So I need that hotel to also respawn every time the server wipes, but I wanted it done automatically. Now, of course, as many of you know, Ice Host has a really nice wipe system built into to their dashboard and it works really great. However, this aspect, getting these buildings or prefabs or whatever you want to call them automatically respawned onto my server, that functionality isn't built in. So what I needed was a command that can be executed from the console, not from in game, that would paste a saved file from my copy paste folder onto my map at a specific coordinate and even a specific rotation if I needed it to. And that's what I was struggling to find until one of my favorite developers said, hey, why don't you just use this functionality that is already built into the copy paste plugin and it will allow you to do everything that you need it to do. Um, what? So sure enough, I look into it and of course, copy paste has this functionality in it called paste back. But the way that it's written in the documentation on umon.org, it indicates that it has to be a chat command indicated by the slash and then paste back. But what I didn't know is that you can use this paste back functionality as a console command instead. And what's even better is we can add options values to it at the same time. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So we all know how the copy paste plugin actually works. We can paste in whatever pre-built file we have in our copy paste folder and boom, there it is. We can even go in and when we're pasting it, we can change the height of it or we can change the rotation of it or we can change the actual position, the XYZ coordinates of it as well. However, that paste, file name with whatever parameters you want attached to it can only be done in game because it's actually using your character position to tell the plugin where it's actually going to paste that item in. And because wipe days are always on Thursdays for me and the update is always released while I'm at work, I have to do all of this stuff at work without being able to log into the game. So I can only be doing these things from my console. So while yes, I would be able to use that same command that I just used down on the beach up in the sky here, but while I'm at work, I can't do that. And some of you are aren't able to log into the game on wipe day either. So this is where we get the paste back command. So after a little bit of trial and error, and of course using the print position command in my F1 console, I was able to figure out the exact coordinates and rotation if I wanted to change the rotation of where I needed to have my hotel placed. And I just stored that information inside my timed execute file. I'm not actually using this timer right here. It's just holding those commands for me. So every time I wipe my server, all I need to do is go in here and grab this line right here, which is the paste back command with the coordinates and a couple of other option parameters that I want to add. No stability being one of them. Nope. No stability is the only extra flag that I'm using on this particular command, but I can take that and I can run it in my console as opposed to actually being in game. And I'm going to show you exactly what that looks looks like. So here I am up in the sky where you can see my innkeeper is currently located. Just so that I can show you what happens when I'm running the command in console, I'm not actually doing this in game. So as you can see on my console there, I've got paste back the file name and then the position of where I want it to be with the stability set to false. And all I'm going to do is hit enter and you're going to see it actually populate on my screen on the right hand side. 
just like that. And if I go inside here, you can see my innkeeper is where it needs to be. You of course would have to run a couple of hotel commands, but that's not what this video is all about. This video is just about using that paste back feature. I also do the exact same thing with an event arena on my server. So I want this pasted back every time the server wipes so that when the event is actually triggered, there's actually an arena for the players to actually play their game on. So of course, just because I can, I'm going to show you that same functionality again, just with my arena instead. So I've got the paste back command, the file name that I want to use, the position where I want it to be. And this one doesn't have any extra flags attached to it, even though it probably should. Hit enter and boom, there you go. My arena spawns right in position. And because this is being used by my event manager, you use the spawns database in order to set up your little spawn locations wherever players are going to spawn if they join the event. Because I'm not messing with the rotation, all of those spawns are still valid. So I don't have to mess around with any of that as far as the event is concerned. As soon as I put the arena back in position, it's all good and ready to go. So that's a little bit of a different detail when it comes to the hotel versus the event arena. And you can do this for as many different things as you want. And one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to be able to do this was because I wanted it to be up above a layer, far enough from the players down on the ground. As you can see, I'm way up in the sky here. I wanted it to be up above a layer so that they can't see or hear what's actually happening in the arena, or in my case, the hotel as well. Now, I've never done any videos on any of this layering stuff or anything like that. Just trust that there is a layer where if you go above that layer, the people that are below that layer won't hear you, won't see you. They won't even know you're there. So I just dropped out of the sky just a little bit here. So you can see I'm kind of like not very far down from where I just was. And if I fly back up just a little bit, you're going to see that base starts to spawn. I guess I should say that base starts to render because it was always there. It didn't have to respawn. It just needed to render for my client to see it. So obviously anybody that's down on the ground, they wouldn't even see this. There's no way they could get up even close to high enough to see this base. Anyways, that's a whole other thing about layers. That's not what this video is about. So I guess maybe this video is a bit of a humility check for me. Like, yeah, I don't know everything. I don't have all the answers. In a lot of cases, like I said at the beginning, I won't show you that I don't know the answer. I'll just go figure it out or ask the right people and then come back to you with the right answer. Again, pretending like I knew the answer the whole time. It's not actually true. I know a little bit about a lot of things, but I have an incredible team of people behind me that know a lot about more. So if you're not using the paste back feature from copy paste, I hope this inspires you to come up with some different ideas, some things that you can actually use this functionality for. My mind was completely blown when I was explained how to actually use the paste back feature. I have actually set it up in my time to execute plugin, but I didn't really like how that functionality was working. So I decided to manually do it. But the fact that I can do it from a server console in instead of in game was the absolute game changer for me. And of course, I was excited to tell you all about a feature that was staring us all right in the face the whole time. And a funny note, I, I, I actually I don't know if I should say this out loud or not, but I did actually reach out to the developer of copy paste and say, hey, why don't we have this functionality? And he's like, eh, I'm not really interested in doing that. Ah, uh, hello. It was already there. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you on the next video.